What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Gemini, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general co collective reading for Sign of Gemini. This can resonate to have G Gemini in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Snow, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sun, Gemini. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. Pay excuse me, PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, love you guys. Spirit message. Okay. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy, Gemini, Gemini for October 2022. I heard phone call after phone call after phone call after phone. It was like seven or eight phone calls. Um, phone call after phone call after phone call, like seven or eight phone calls. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Energies can be reversed. So that could be you receiving these massive phone calls. And it sounds like it's back to back to back to back to back already or you're about to or it's somebody you're connected to but somebody has got a it already has or is about to start having a shit ton of phone calls and i feel back to back to back to back to back whether it's you or somebody you're connected to now i feel that can go positively or negatively only you know your situation and story not anybody else it could be you or somebody you're connected to but some kind of back to back to back to back to back to back to back phone calls i mean it was like seven or eight phone call after phone call i heard so, uh, I feel there's a reason uh, either you or somebody you're connected to is about to receive all these phone calls. Um, it can, I feel it can go positively or negatively. You plug it into your own life, the situation, the story, how it resonates, Gemini. Uh, for some, I feel you could be making the phone calls because, you know, energies can be reversed. So, it could be you receiving them, you or somebody you're connected to, or you or somebody you're connected to making them. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Gemini, okay? We have crow and elephant, cat, a two-faced friend, ink pot, problems to be resolved. That could be the phone call after phone call, possibly. For some, I feel you could have been betrayed or you're about to be betrayed or you have a very two-faced person in your life. Um... For some, you could be dealing with the air sign or a earth sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, side. I'm not Aries, Leo, side. I'm sorry. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, 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 Jupiter, Chart. If you are, uh, if you do Gemini. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. And if you think anyone else would like the videos, please feel free to share them very publicly on social media word of mouth. I'm a single mom of two kids. I might not have full custody of my kids right now because I don't. I have visitation rights, but I am still a single mother of two kids. And I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Heart, great happiness. A Gemini FM, life size spiritualist. You've been trying to grow your tarot reading channel. It's about to start growing. You're a very gifted reader. Very light size. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So you have less than 100 subscribers. Okay, that's the specific. So you plug it in, how it resonates. You're a Gemini Femme, very talented reader. I think it's going to make you very happy, Gemini Femme reader. Uh, you're, you're trying to grow your... Uh, channel your channel your channel so i feel you might have a channel on youtube or a channel on any other platform i feel it is the social media platform i heard channel so i definitely feel social media energy if this resonates for you gemini and Tim. i heard you have less than 100 subscribers so that's very specific i heard you've been trying to grow your channel so your uh, uh lights out spiritualist tarot card reading channel you have less than 100 subscribers i heard it's going to start growing so uh Maybe you were frustrated. Maybe you didn't think it was going to grow. Um, or you've just been trying to grow it. But I heard it's going to start growing. So that could be fast or it could be steady. Uh, but I heard it's going to start growing. You have less than 100 subscribers. I heard you're very talented. You're a Gemini femme, light size spiritualist. If that resonates for you, ma'am, you're very talented. I feel you might have the clairs or psychic medium abilities. 
or something of that nature, ma'am. I think it's going to make you very happy. I think you might have had forces working against you and a two-faced friend in your life or was in your life that maybe hindered your business, possibly, ma'am. But you got happiness and joy. So this social media platform about to grow, especially when it gets over a thousand subscribers because it's going to earn you revenue, money. I think it's going to make you very happy. You have great happiness with joy. But I think the spiritual download in that is basically don't give up. Don't give up because you're very talented and whoever you are, you're the real deal. You're not fake. You're not a karmic reader. You really are the real deal. So don't give up, ma'am, if that resonates for you, okay? Crow. A particular divine feminine has really taken her power back. For one, it is you. For one, it is someone you're connected to. For one, you're really happy about this. For one, you're not. You're very dark side. And you're about to not be even happier because she is really about to really come into wonderful blessings. For one, you are you used to go to school with her. Dark side, for one, you are an ex spouse. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So we have two dark side individual Geminis in here. One, you're an ex, um, whoever you are and how that applies. Okay, so we've got a divine femme in here. One, you are a Gemini femme, divine femme. Um, you're about to start growing and manifesting, and it's about to make you very happy. Happiness times two with the joy and the great happiness. You've taken your power back, Divine Femme, G Gemini Femme. Your light side, I feel for some of you could be that light side spiritualist that's taking your power back or you're about to take your power back. It's, about, it's making you happy or it's about to make you very happy. I heard wonderful blessings are about to come into your life. So basically, you know, keep doing you, honey boo boo. Keep doing whatever you're doing in a light side way, whether it's a YouTube channel trying to grow your business or or a full-time job, part-time job, PRN job, side hustles, or other businesses, or what, whatever it is you're doing, hobbies, or whatever. Um, keep doing you, honey boo-boo. That's for Divine Femme, Gemini Femme, okay? That's situation one. Situation two, it's dark side Geminis, specifically um, an ex-spouse and someone that this Divine Femme that's taking her power back, which I feel is another sign, an, a fire sign fire sign divine femme fire sign aries leo sage divine femme fire sign has taken our power back you are dark side gemini's so low vibrational gemini's one you used to go to school with her so that could be college that could be elementary high school um middle technical school any kind of school energy you're upset about this for one you are an ex-spouse so an ex-husband or ex-wife and I heard you're both dark side. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Dark side Geminis. But it is a fire sign. Divine Femme that's taking her power back in situation two. Aries Leo Sag Feminine. Okay. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the light side Gemini Femme? Divine Femme that's taking your power back? Or um, Divine Femme Aries Leo Sag that's taking her power back? And you're the dark side Geminis. Masculine Femme. Person that used to go to school with her. Or ex-spouse. How that resonates and applies, okay? Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You have to plug yourself in and refit. Are you high vibrational? Are you low vibrational? Do you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and value, or do you not, okay? But there's a reason these two are going to be upset about this. Um, I think maybe the you, know, you guys were siphoning energy off her, energy, time, or money, or using her in some shape, form, or fashion. And I hate to say that, but, you know, there is light and dark, and that's just the truth. Do you choose to be light in the world and society, or do you choose to be dark? And that's just the truth. Crow? A Libra politician is in huge regret of the past. 
huge regret. They're about to make some huge changes. It's about to affect a lot of people very soon. For some, you're going to be very happy about this. For some, you're not. Alabama is very significant in this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A Libra politician is very upset over something that happened in the past. Whoever this Libra politician is and how that resonates and applies. I feel they're a light side Libra politician. Um, hopefully they're bringing positive action and change here and not hurt, hurting and harming people or trying to. Um, I think it's positive change here. I heard they're very upset over something that happened in the past. I think it was some kind of injustice or injustices that happened out in the universe. Um, I heard they're about to make some huge changes. Um, and I heard for some of you guys, you'll be very happy about this. Joy and happiness. For some, you're not. So, um, I heard Alabama is very significant in this. So, I feel this, uh, light, uh, I'm presuming light side Libra politician is a politician in Alabama. Is what I'm presuming, or they are connected with someone in Alabama. However, that resonates and applies. It is a light side Libra politician. I'm feeling light side Libra politician. They could have Libra in any aspects of their charts. It can be masculine or femme Libra politician. But they're about to make some huge changes. It was a huge injustice in the past. A huge injustice. It was a huge injustice in the past. A huge injustice. Some kind of huge injustice. But I heard for some, you're going to be very happy about this. So. Some kind of huge changes are coming, you guys. Huge changes are coming. It's going to make some of you guys very happy. You're going to be happy this person's going to do it. Uh, for some, you're going to be upset. So you have to, you know, plug yourself in where you fit. But whether you're going to be happy or upset about the changes this light side, um, I'm presuming light side Libra politicians about to make, I heard it was huge injustices in the past. So if it was an, a huge injustice, and more than one injustice, so... I'm feeling, I'm thinking crime or crimes or um, horrible something that happened, probably in criminal activity. Um, I think they're going to balance the scales or help try to balance the scales or something of that nature. So you have to, in my opinion, you have to evaluate why you're going to be upset over injustices being made right in the universe, but for some, you're very happy about it. So you plug it in, how it resonates, so that resonates and applies, okay? A book of shadows is about to be found in a very dark side Libra's chest soon. It's about to be found by someone, older Libra feminine. It's about to be found by someone they do not want it to be found by. It's about to be taken and it's about to be taken to the police and series of chain of events will occur. Know this. For one, you know about this book of shadows. For one, you're about to find out about this. You are officer of the law. For one, you are a family member. And you're about to find out about this. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in. How it resonates. Some kind of book of shadows energy. It's an older, dark side Libra femme. So 35, 36 or above. Dark side Libra femme. She's had this for a long time. And other supplies. Dark side supplies. Okay, I heard she's had this book of shadows and other dark side supplies for a very long time. She's an older Libra femme. I'm presuming 35, 36 or above. Very dark, spiritualist type energy. Um, she could have Libra in any aspects of her charts. I heard it's about to be, I heard it's in a chest. It's in a chest. And it's about to be found by someone she would have never expected to find it. Um, and it sounds like this person is not going to support it. I heard they're going to take it to the police. Um, and I heard um, they're they're going to take it to the police. And it sounds like a series of chain events are going to occur. I think it's going to make them very happy to take it to the police. Now, who finds this? I didn't hear that part. But it's somebody that doesn't support dark side activities or behaviors. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and I, so one of you guys, you are a Gemini officer of the law. I feel you're going to be at the precinct or hear about it when whoever this is that's connected to this dark side Libra femme brings in the book Shadows is what I feel. For one, you're a family member of the dark side Libra femme or a family member of the person about to bring in the book of shadows, about to find out about this. Um, wow. 
Um, and for one, you were cahootins with, you knew about the Book of Shadows the whole time. So you were in cahoots with her. So I think you dabble in dark arts with her. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I think it's going to make the person that's about to bring this Book of Shadows into the police happy to do it. It is about to go very positively for them. Very positive. Earth sign energy about to do this. Okay, I heard it's about to go very positive for them. Very, I heard they're gonna be, it's gonna be, ha they're gonna be happy. It's an earth sign energy about to do this. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo about to take this book of shadows into the police. Gemini, it's an older uh, Libra femme about to basically be outed for dark arts. Um, the evidence is the book shadows. Um, oh my God, one year officer of the law. So it could be, you could be the one they bring the book of shadows in. Uh, in two, you could be an investigator. You could be high up in the police. I'm not sure. Jim and I, masculine or femme, officer of the law. For one, you are a family member of either this earth sign about to bring in this book of shadows or the dark side Libra femme. And I don't feel the earth sign is dark side because they are taking action to bring the book of shadows in. And for one, you are have been in cahoots with her the whole time and knew about the book shadow, so you're dark side too. And I think you're Gemini too, masculine or femme. All these people are Geminis. So you have to plug you in how you resonate. Are you a Gemini family member about to find out about this? Gemini in cahoots, dark side that knew about this the whole time? Or you um Gemini officer of the law about to find out about this book shadows? It's an older Libra feminine, 35, 36 or above. Uh, it's Earth sign about to do this. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven, and Jupiter charts. So I heard it's going to make them, they're going to be happy to do this. They're going to be glad to bring this book shadows in. It is about to benefit them in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to benefit them in a huge way. It's about to benefit this Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo bringing in this book of shadows to the police in a huge way. So, um, yeah, it's going to make them very happy. Holy crap. This is about to create a snowball effect. A snowball effect when this occurs. Somebody needs to hear this. Oh my God. I heard it's about to create a snowball effect when this occurs. When this Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Mask or Fan, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, I'm feeling light side individual, brings in this book of shadows from this dark side. It sounds like a dark arts uh, altar in a chest is what it sounds like. But obviously... You know, like us light side individuals, we keep our altar out very public in our home because we have nothing to hide. We don't have dead bones, blood of something, 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 um, voodoo dolls. We don't have that shit because we are light side. We have our, whatever our spiritual supplies are, usually very publicly out in our home because there's nothing to hide. Um, this person has a hidden in a chest with probably some other artifacts, I'm presuming. I heard Book of Shadows. Now, this earth sign might find other dark side supplies and end up taking them to the police as well. I don't know. I'm not this earth sign. But I did hear a book of shadows for sure. But you guys, you guys are about to hear about this, Gemini's. Whether you're a family member of the earth sign or the uh, dark side Libra femme. A dark side Gemini in cahoots with her the whole time. Masculine of them or an officer of the law. I heard it's going to go very positively for this earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine, femme, earth sign. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. Elephant. An earth sign teenager is about to step up in a huge leadership position soon. Set up for themselves and others. One, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you happy. And it's going to shock you. One is the earth sign masculine. One is the earth sign femme. One is your child. One is somebody else's child. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, so heavy earth sign teenager energy, whether it's a masculine or femme, earth sign teenager. Uh, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hamlet, Jupiter charts. Some it's your child, Gemini, earth sign masculine teenager. For some it's somebody else's child. Um, some of these earth sign teenagers are about to stand up in um, leadership positions and roles. Some to stand up for themselves, some to stand up for others. So I feel advocacy energy or reporting energy or something of that nature. They're about to really 
take on the elephant energy. This is the earth sign teenager, whether it's your teenager or somebody else's teenager. Um, and masculine femme, earth sign teenagers, and stand up for themselves and others. So advocacy energy I'm feeling for themselves and others. It could be um, groups. Maybe they are uh, leaders in a group at school. Um, or create a positive focus edit group online. Or they officially report something. Or what have you, what have you. For the ones of you guys where it is your kid, I think it's going to make you very happy. It would make me very happy if my kid did that. And that's just the truth, real, for real. For some, if it's a kid you care about that's not your kid, it can make you very happy. You plug it in how it resonates. It's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, child, teenager. So I'm feeling 13 to 19-ish. They can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, whether it's your child or somebody else's child. Leadership energy here. I feel official reporting energy here. I hear I feel leaders of groups uh, like Honor Society or Spanish Honor Society or uh, reporting something that needs to be reported or standing up for bullying, harassing, or targeting, or gang stalking, or something like that. Advocacy energy for themselves and others. Leadership energy, that's really beautiful energy. Holy crap. Cat, a two-faced friend. A betrayal from a Taurus is about to become very significant in a Gemini's life and a betrayal from an Aries and a Libra. A betrayal from a Aries, a Libra, and a Taurus is about to become very significant in a um, Gemini's life. So some of you guys, you're dealing, you could be dealing with one or two or two plus of these people. Heard Aries, Gem, uh, Aries, Libra, and Taurus. Betrayal energy. Uh, it, I feel it could be masculine or feminine. Aries, Libra, or Taurus. They could have Aries, Libra, or Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. I think it's going to make you joy reverse, happy reverse. Um, betrayal energy. It's like, um, it's Ten of Swords. It's Ten of Swords energy. Uh, whether you're dealing with one of these energies or two or two plus, I heard Aries, Libra, and Taurus. You have to plug these people into your own particular life situation, how it resonates, masculine or feminine, okay? Ten of Swords, man. Um, they're very two-faced, whoever they are. A public situation at a ballpark is about to become very significant for one Gemini. And for one, a school. Public situation at a school. A public situation at a ballpark and a public situation at a school is about to become very significant for one of you guys. So a public situation at a ballpark for one and for one at a school is about to become very significant for you. So whatever public ballpark, whether it's rec league or tournament ball or any other kind of ballpark, uh, it could be professional stadium for some. For some, um, uh, it's at a school. So, you know, that could be elementary, middle, child school, your school. Uh, maybe you work at the school, um, some kind of school, whether you're employed there or visiting there. Uh, maybe you have children that go there. But it's Ten of Swords energy by this Libra, Taurus, or um, um, uh, Libra, Taurus, or uh, what was the other one? Libra, Taurus, or Aries. You plug it in, how it resonates. Betrayal, Ten of Swords. Mm. Problems to be resolved. Significant lab results, pregnancy lab results, is about to become very significant in a pregnant Gemini's life. They're going to shock you. Okay, so one of you guys is pregnant, and um, so your Gemini femme, I'm feeling, with obviously femme parts, and I heard um, significant negative lab results are about to become very significant in your life. 
So one of you guys is pregnant in here, um, and it's some kind of live results. I feel of you, um, and you're currently with in utero with child, uh, child in utero. There, it sounds like you're going in for regular checkup, fetal checkup. Um, I'm presuming, um, and you're about to get live results drawn, blood work drawn, and it's about to be some kind of negative result or results. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I think there might be some kind of problem to be resolved. Maybe you need to get on medication or do some kind of treatment or treatments to help resolve whatever negative lab results. Um, however that resonates and applies, I don't think you're going to be expecting these negative lab results. Pregnant, Gemini, feminine, if that resonates for you, okay? I hope everything works out. I didn't hear specifically what that was, okay? A Gemini is about to try to sell a home soon that they cannot sell fraudulent paperwork. They're about to get caught. It's about to shock the hell out of them. And a Taurus is about to call a Gemini. They're involved in Bank fraud, help the toxic family in bank fraud. Termination, they work at the, a credit union. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, Lord. So that's negative energy. Okay, so we've got a Gemini in the universe that's trying to sell a home they can't sell. It sounds like it's some kind of fraudulent signature or signatures and some kind of screwed up documentation, frauded documentation or incorrect documentation or fraud signature or something to do with the documentation is not correct. Whatever is going on with the deed or the uh, mortgage paperwork or what have you, what have you, something is incorrect. Something is not correct, whether it's a frauded signature or signatures, incorrect information, incorrect fraudulent documentation, whatever it is. I didn't hear specifically what it is, but it's about to be caused the home, home not to be sold. It's about to create negative series of chain events that Jim and I will end up in jail. They're about to be shot. Okay, I heard it's about to create negative series of chain events that Jim and I will end up in jail. They're about to be shot. Well, you shouldn't be trying to sell home or homes on on an incorrect fraudulent paperwork. Um, it's about to open a huge investigation on the past. Huge money laundering ring. It's about to open a huge investigation on the past, huge money laundering ring, and the home will not be sold, and the home will not be sold. So, you plug yourself in where you fit. Only you know if you're trying to sell sell a home where there was some kind of money laundering ring involved, and you're not even supposed to be selling the home to begin with on some kind of screwed up paperwork, um, where you shouldn't even be selling the home to begin with. It doesn't even sound like it's whoever this is, this is for. It sounds like you shouldn't even be selling the home to begin with because it's not even your home. But only you know your situation story, not anybody else. And then there's a Taurus, a Taurus that works at a credit union, I heard, that's about to call a Gemini and tell them that, that they've already been terminated or about to be terminated. They work at a credit union and they were involved in some kind of money laundering. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. That. I don't know who the crap you guys have been hanging around with, but this is not, this is not good energy people. I'm just saying. I mean, not for all of you guys. There's some good messages in here, but holy crap. Heart, great happiness. A choir recital soon. A 
A choir recital soon is what I heard. A choir recital soon. So when you guys is um gonna uh, uh, you could be in the choir, or somebody you're connected to is in the choir, or you're gonna come watch somebody in the choir in some kind of recital. How that resonates and applies. I heard a choir recital soon, so it hasn't happened yet. Whether you're in the choir, you're gonna watch somebody in the choir, or what have you, what have you. It's gonna give you great happiness to watch this choir, choir recital. I'm presuming. And one, you're looking for another job. And through many series of time events, you're about to find it. It's going to make you very happy. You've been very miserable. Okay, and one of you guys, you're looking for another job. And I heard through many series of time events, you're about to find it. And it's going to make you very happy. So great happiness. Um, looking for another job. Absolutely. Um, if that's what you want. And whoever this is for, that's what you want. It's going to make you very happy. So that's beautiful. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Joy. One Gemini is about to get new glasses. For one, somebody you're connected to is about to get new glasses. It's going to make them very happy, make you very happy. Okay, so new glasses. Whether you're getting new glasses or somebody you're connected to is getting new glasses. To me, that could be blue light glasses like mine or prescription or sunglasses, some kind of new glasses. Um, how that resonates and applies for some of you, for some of somebody you're connected to. I heard it's going to make you very happy. Happy to have a happy joy joy. Like Brennan Sippy, just saying. A Pisces, that was a Pisces. You are about to expose a Pisces, very low vibrational Pisces in a huge way. A huge way. A Pisces feminine. You've been covering for this person for years and you're about to expose them very publicly. Some on social media, some in the public, some official reporting. It's going to make you very happy. They're a huge fraud, a huge thief, and you know this. Oh, okay. It's going to be very happy. So it's a low vibrational Pisces femme. She could have Pisces in any aspects of her charts. I heard you've been covering for her for years. Now, why the hell you've been covering for a fraud and a thief and all that shit? I don't know. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, you and I. But it sounds like now you're not going to cover for her. Uh, for some, you're going to expose her on social media. For some, you're going to expose her in the public. So everyday 3D world. For some, official reporting. For some, it could be two or two plus of these things. Only you know what you're about to do. An exposure of this low vibrational Pisces feminine thief and fraud. Not anybody else. But I heard you've been covering for her for years, but you're about not to. And it's about to make you very happy to expose her ass. Whether it's social media, everyday 3D community, or an official report, or two or two plus of those things. She's a low vibrational Pisces femme. She could have Pisces in any aspects of her charts. Heard you've been covering for her for years. I think you realize she's a two-faced friend. And um, you're about to expose her. Problems to be resolved. Exposing the fraud, thief, and uh, of her. Whoever she is. And it's about to make you very happy to do it. If that resonates and applies, Gemini. It's a low vibrational Pisces feminine. And you could be a masculine or femme Gemini. If that resonates and applies for you. Only you know if you're going to expose a low vibrational Pisces fam via everyday 3D world out in the community, social media, or official report, or two or two plus, okay? A Gemini, high vibrational Gemini feminine is about to kick out a fire sign, live in. Masculine. It's about to shock the hell out of him, but it's going to make you very happy. Holy crap. How about racial Gemini? Fem. That resonates for you. You're high about racial Gemini Fem. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I heard you're about to kick out a fire sign live-in masculine. So he's a live-in. So I don't think you're legally married to him. I think it's a boyfriend, a fiance, or a baby daddy or something. How that resonates and applies. Um, he could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in his Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. I heard it's going to make you very happy. So I think you can obviously pay bills on your own. You're independent financially. You're about to kick his ass out. I don't blame you. You make me happy, happy, joy, joy, too. That's why I like living by myself when my kids aren't here. I just want my kids back. And that's just the truth.
Huge unexpected events are about to occur in a Gemini's life soon. For some, you're going to like these. For some, you're not. About to be turned upside down. Huge unexpected events are about to occur in a Gemini's life soon. For some, you're going to like these events. For some, you're not. It's going to turn some kind of situation upside down. So, up, uprooting energetic spaces. It's like topsy-turvy energy. However, this resonates and applies. Um, for some, you're going to like it. So, it's, for some, it's going to make you happy. For some, you can be power play energy about to help this energetic shift, I feel. It's going to make you happy. For some, you're not going to like it. Only you know if you're going um, going to participate in this topsy-turvy energy. Only you know if you're going to be a power play mover in situation or situations. Not anybody else. But for some of you guys, you're going to be happy about it. So I feel you might be power play movers about to help this. For some, you're not going to be happy. So I think you might be on the negative end of the karmic bank or the karmic wheel on this. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Okay? Love you guys. Hope this helped. And namaste.